Hi, my name's Zach. I'm a CTO, and I was using Sublime Text Editor, but now I'm using Visual Studio Code. For more reviews like this, click below. These applications help me in my day-to-day -day work uh, with the most basics of just text editing. So for me, that means programming. Uh, I need to edit my, my code, and at the most basic level, it's just editing a text file and saving it. Uh, but these applications really help to integrate a lot of different functions, uh, help make it a little bit smarter and a little bit easier, provide suggestions, provide code formatting, um, help with uh, integration with uh, the source code repository Git uh, so I can see the changes that are made. Uh, so it really helps. It's a fully integrated process uh, for programming. So Visual Studio Code is really best for a no-frills code editor. Uh, and that's really what I look for. Um, something that's basic, lightweight, uh, runs fast, um, and but still has a lot of power and, and powerful integrations built into it. So Visual Studio Code um, can be very slim and lightweight, but there's a lot of add-ons that you can uh, configure you can, there's a lot of different settings uh, so that you can really adapt it to your own work style and your own work processes. So Sublime Text is really best for a lot of the same reasons that Visual Studio Code is, is best for. It's a lightweight, slim editor. It's easy to get going, easy to get started in, in any different programming language. Uh, there's also a lot of, lot of add-ons and formatting tips for different languages. Uh, so Sublime Text is also very lightweight, fast to run on your computer, um, and easy to get started with. And yet it still does have a lot of awesome, powerful configurations um, and add-ons that you can build into it. So both Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code are, are fairly easy to get started with. Um, it kind of just depends on what you want out of it and how much you want to specialize it and customize it to your needs. Uh, Sublime Text, you know, right out of the box, it's easy to get started with. There was a bit more, at least in my case, I did a bit more configuring, um, setting up some special functions, setting, setting up some special things that, that really helped me in my day-to-day -day work. Uh, Visual Studio Code was also very easy to get started with, and I would say a little bit easier, a little bit faster to get started with. I think a little bit more of the, the integrations that I needed were um, coming in Visual Studio Code out of the box. So the top considerations when looking for this type of software is really the trade-off of the power versus lightweight. Uh, and both of these pieces of software are, are lightweight code editors. Um, so if you're looking for something that's, that's slim, lightweight, runs fast on your computer, uh, if that's the most important thing to you, then I would highly recommend uh, really both of these, but I recommend Visual Studio Code um, over Sublime Text. And if you're looking for other editors that have a lot more um, power built into them, but might be a bit slower and clunkier, uh, then you'd have to look at some other editors besides these two. 